Hello, Elevate. Elevate is it Elevate.com? It is Elevate.com. Elevate.com. I'm um, talking to the wonderful Robin Downs, who I've known for like forever. I won't say she may not want me to tell her how long I've known, but I've known her a long time. Hi, I'm Robin Downs, and this is What's Up with Downs. This evening we're here at a gathering of black filmmakers featuring Nelson Pura. So we're going to hear what Nelson has to say, we're going to ask him some questions. So what I'm doing now is, I'm, you know, uh, I'm about to speak at this uh, event, it's just called Filmmaker's View. And uh, I'm going to talk about film and, and both the history of black imagery, my experiences in that, and also a lot about what's going on now and the challenges of being a young black filmmaker or actor today, which are very different than they were, you know, even 10 years ago. Uh, and, you know, it's a, it's a very difficult place to be, I think, in a lot of ways. Legendary writer, director, producer. We're gonna get all up in his business <laughs> and pull as much as I can out of him to benefit the room and to also inspire. Please put your hands together for Nelson George. Uh -huh. Everybody wanted me to say this. 
we need a lot more black producers. And that's always been the gap. There's a lot of black writers, there's a lot of black directors, there's tons of black actors. There's very few people who just want to be producers. And that's a particular skill people don't appreciate, not because I have to produce stuff now. That's a particular skill that you, you need someone who can do that. I mean, there were these two guys, and one of them is dead now, George Jackson and Doug mm -hmm. Henry, who really wanted to be producers. And they are the ones who did New Jack City and pushed that through. They took over the House Party franchise and did those movies. And George and Doug were really producers. Um, and what does that mean? It means producing is, is very misunderstood. Producing is raising money. Producing is identifying material and supporting that material. Producing is then dealing with the, you know, if you're getting money from an investor, that's one kind of job. Dealing with the institutions of Hollywood is another kind of job because dealing with Hollywood is dealing with agents. And agent, relationship with agents is one of the most difficult to get their confidence, to get them to believe in you, to get them to let you have their, one of the biggest building blocks that always used to happen with, with black projects getting made was getting the agents to let, to connect the material, the script, with the town, getting millions of dollars. <laughs> so the question is, what is it you want to do, and how do you reach your audience? I think the real challenge would be, are these alternative means of distribution going to really be profitable for us? And can we set up, be involved in a system where video on demand, that we not only make the movie and we put it on video on demand, but we're able to get enough money to, to make the movie, and then also be able to see a return on investment. Um, all these ways of the streaming, all these different alternative ways of accessing audience, they're there and they're already there. People are making money on them. I'm not quite sure that any black entrepreneur or black institution yet has figured out how to make that consistent and how to promote it. Because the problem is, we're so used to going to the movie as a ritual. Um, are we able to let the audience know? Hey, that it's it's NelsonDGeorge.net. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, which I check all the time. And uh, in the fall, I have a new novel coming out, and it's called The Plot Against Hip Hop. It's a, it's a paranoid thriller set in the world of hip hop about the conspiracy to destroy hip hop that's been underway for the last 30 years. Nice to see you, Robin. Okay, good to see you too, darling.